So today we can discuss this question from Ad Code of Beginner Contest 162 Problem E Sum of GCD of tuples are drawn. So in this question you are given that consider a sequence of A to N of length N cons consisting of integers between 1 to K inclusive such that they are K to the power of N each sequences. Find the sum of the GCDs of such sequences over all of them. Since the sum can be enormous, print the value of print the value of the sum mod this and GCD is the uh, like of the sequence is the greatest common divisor of all the integers in the sequence. Okay. So what we have given is n and k. So what they are telling is you have a sequence of n integers such so that you can take so in this n is 3 so take 3 places and k can go from 1 to 2 so 1 and 2 because it can go from 1 till k and k is 2 so we can take it from 1 to 2 and we have to fill these positions with these numbers and find out every possible sequence so if let it be k so there are k positions here k positions here k positions here and there it is up to n so total possible sequences is k to the power n so that's the that is given in the question k to the power n are possible sequences and you have to find out the gcds of such sequences okay so you, we can only see the example of this we can put 1 1 1 here and the GCD is 1, then 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, and so on. Okay. But for large numbers, it's not very easy. So we can develop a logic here. We can count out the number of sequences and bundle them which has the same GCD. I mean, the GCD can be 1, 2, 3, 4, so on, of n number of sequences. So let's assume there are x1 sequences which has gcd x because the total of k to the power n sequences of them x1 sequences has gcd equal to 1 then x2 sequences has gcd equal to 2 and so on so we can just multiply them that's the final answer and do the sum of over all of them and print the answer that can be done easily but how we can find out which sequences has GCD is equal to 1 or GCD equal to 2. Okay. So, if we have a sequence of A1, A2, A1, A2 and so on till AN, this sequence has a GCD of let's say like 2 if all of them are divisible by 2. Because if everyone is divisible by 2, the greatest common divisor is 2. Okay. So, how many sequences are such that it is only divisible by 2 only? So, if there are n numbers, if there are n numbers, and so we have a total possibilities that the number in these n positions can be from 1 to k. Okay. So, if I have n numbers, And we want to find out the number of uh, sequences which has GCD equal to let's say 2. So if I divide k divided by 2 to the power of n. So how I come up with this? Because there are k number, because there are k positions. And the number can be from 1 to k. Okay, let's assume we have, we can put here numbers such that I can put here numbers from 1 to 50 1, 2, 3 and so on till 50 and I want to find out how many numbers are there which can divide by 2 so if I divide 50 by 2 it means we are jumping at a distance of 2, 4, 6 and so on so there are 25 numbers which are divided by 2 see if I put these numbers 25 numbers in this sequence so that if I put 2, 4, 2 in this in this sequence then the sequence is guaranteed to be divisible by 2. I hope you understand this logic because 
in this n positions in this n positions we want to put numbers such that every number is divisible by 2 and how many numbers are there because we can put only numbers from 1 to k and there are 25 numbers which are divisible by 2 so if we put only these 25 numbers then it is guaranteed that every number is divisible by 2 and for each position we can put these numbers so k 25 numbers for this position 25 numbers for this position 25 numbers for this position so 20 25 to the power k are a total number of sequences 25 to the power of n are a total number of sequences which has gcd equal to 2 okay but there is a slight twist in here in this we have also counted all the sequences which can have gcd equal to 4 or gcd equal to 6 or and so on but why because if we take let's assume 4 here n 8 here and 4 here and n is equal to 3 this is also included in when we are counting in for 2 but when we do a count for 4 also this is again counted so why do we count it in 2 because we can again counting in 4 so what we can do is we can subtract these numbers from 2 you will be better much clear in the code when i go through but this is the simple logic we will first find out this k divided by i to the power of n where i goes from k to 1 because we have to find out the gcd can be from k to 1 and this gives the total number of series which have gcd is equal to that number so if that number is x1 this is the number of series and we want to multiply it with the gcd is of this series and we will do a summation of it okay so let's write down the code we have to find the large powers here because n can be very large l can do 10 to the power 5 so we want we have to find write the power function separately okay so this can be do done using a dp solution so what we will do in the start is we will take the input of n and k and we will do everything in long 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 because that will be much cheaper okay then what we will do is We will iterate over from k i equal to k i is less than equal to one i minus minus sorry i is greater than and then what we will save in dp of i is just equal to the power function which we will write later power of k divided by i which I have told you to the power of n so each kth position store the power of k divided by i to the power of n but we will also have to subtract all those because we are moving from back to forward back back to front in the number series we will we are storing it for the k position because k is the maximum gcd is which is possible okay so then what we have to do is so if we have done it done for 2 we have find out all the series for 2 we have to subtract all the series for 4 6 8 and so on so we have to subtract it so j is 2 into i because the next number for 2 is 4 so 2 into i j is less than equal to k and we have a jump of i equal to i and what we will do is dp of i minus equal to dp of j at this position because they have computed this position why because they are moving from uh, right to left so we have first computed the larger dp's values and when we are moving to smaller we have the larger value so we can easily subtract it. okay and then for finding out the answer long long answer is equal to 0 int i equal to 1 i less than equal to k because now we have the values 
so gcd values can go from 1 equal 1 to k and for and we have stored find out how many sequences are there so the answer will be just answer plus equal to answer of dp of i dp of i store the sequence length into i because i is the gcd of that sequence into the sequence length we'll do a mod of it and we also do a whole mod of it and we just see out answer and we can also do a mod here again but it is not possible like necessary we can also do a mod here now we have to just write this power function and enter dp array okay and also write the constant i'll i'll tell you a very simple way to write this power function I have seen most people struggle in the contest to write this function. Constant mod is equal to 1 e9 plus 7. And uh, we can initialize our dp because it's 10 to the power 5. 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, how we can write that power function is we can return long long power, we can take input of a. And B. so I hope you know uh, math, uh, exponential functions or exponential how to find exponential power of a to the power b. So I can tell you some basic. So if you have, if you want to find out a to the power of b, and b is an even number, so that we want to find out two to the power of four. What we can do is we want to we can find out 2 to the power of 2 and 2 to the power of 2 if you multiply them it is 2 to the power of 4. So why do we compute this again and again? So we just compute this and because it is again a 2 to the power the power is mod 2. So we just compute 2 and 2, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 1. We just compute this, multiply this again and find out this answer because we know this answer we multiply this two times and we find out this answer. Okay. and if it's odd we'll do 2 into we multiply 2 separately and make it a 2, key, 2 to the power so if it's 2 to the power 3 we will find out 2 and 2 to the power 2 and now it becomes even so we'll do a exponential here. Okay. so if b the power one this is a to the power b so if b is equal to zero it means a to the power zero which, is, which means it should return only one if b is equal to one a to the power one so it should return only a so a into one long long now if b is even so what's the approach will be? We will call this function again for just half of the power a to the power b divided by 2 and then in the final we will do a x into x do a mod here and just return x else if it's odd we will do the same x equal to power of a so we subtract 1 as I told you for power 3 we make it 2 and then do the exponential on it and for the final we first multiply this and while returning what we can do we can again multiply a into a model that's the function for the power and that's the code. Let's try to run it first and then we'll submit it. Time X is not declared. Oh, 
पे I hope you understand the logic. If you still have any doubts, please mention now. Thank you for watching this video. That's it. Bye.